it is cleaning day in the van it came with this mat um, and what we're going to do is take that out and then underneath here you know there's just the general wear and tear from when we bought it so we're going to work on cleaning that out um, look for things like rust any other holes I don't think we'll have anything like that they didn't report anything like that when we bought it but you never know so we'll go through and we'll take the mat out we'll clean underneath um, and then eventually we may have time to work our way up to the seats and then that way we can start to prep for spraying the walls down um, with alcohol and really just kind of getting all the grime and grease from when we bought it baby off. monitor baby monitor is uh, not too far away we probably have about another hour or so so let's get to it all right so first thing get this stuff out of here got some old ratchet straps and things just helped Sarah's brother move one of the other perks of the van um, and then now let's take this mat out here's what we're working with so our goal is we want to just kind of clean all this out sweep it toward the back and then we've got a bowl of water um, with some cleaning agent we can clean things down but right now we just want to get all this dirt moved out and pick up any of these random things that we find underneath. Alright, so that is out. Everything is swept out. Well, the loose dirt as much as we could get of it. Um, so next up is just we have a big bowl of warm water and some cleaner and we're gonna scrub as much as we can. Get rid of spots like that that didn't come out. So far didn't see any rust either, right? Nope, everything looks great underneath it. We weren't sure what to expect under the mat. I mean, we didn't think anything was gonna be too major, but everything looks pretty, pretty solid. Um, yeah, a side note on the mat itself, the, the mat coming out so easily and being moved around so easily will definitely come in handy as we eventually get to measuring um, like any subfloor, any insulation that we need, we'll be able to use that um, and trace it and hopefully just pop things right in. So that mat will come in handy later. We'll have to eventually kind of figure out a plan for these guys. We'll get getting a special, I don't know, screwdriver or something. It's kind of like a star bit, mm -hmm. but yeah. It's on definitely, its way. definitely muddy, but we'll get it scrubbed up. Alright, so already looking pretty good. Like I said, this is just a preliminary cleaning, but you can kind of see the contrast there. This is what we've hit with the cleaner and the warm water. That's what we're, we'll hit up next. We're going to just start in that corner and work our way out, and then we can let all this dry. That way we're not getting our footprints and stuff like that on it. But uh, like you'll see, this is kind of like at a slant in our driveway right now. So I think um, things have gradually over time, for the short amount of time we've had the van, um, been pooling kind of up against that as well as whatever the previous owner had whether they had the mat or then out of the mat later a second owner or whoever um, but we'll hit that up next and then eventually too we'll still have to hit the walls but right now I mean that's looking significantly better before we have to do the finer cleaning and we'll lay down blankets and stuff like that um, when we actually have to get in and do some cleaning on the walls, that way we're not tracking mud, dirt, stuff that we just cleaned out of the van. All right, so night and day difference 
So this is just like round one of cleaning, like we mentioned. I think we've got pretty much all the big grease, grime, whatever. There'll be some little tiny things that will eventually start to work off the walls just to get everything off. We don't, like we said, we don't know what the previous owners used the van for, so we'll just get everything off. And we'll be sleeping in here, Hazel will be in here. Um, but next steps are going to be checking for rust. And so far, we don't see anything, which is really, really nice. I know a lot of times they have these mats down for however long and then water, dirt, whatever sits underneath and then it rusts the floor. We don't see anything like that yet. There's a couple of little tiny specks toward the front where we mentioned some of that uh, mud was or maybe some water had kind of been at some point or in there at some point. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. But next steps, like I was saying, um, start to maybe spray. I think we're gonna spray paint some of the, these spots that are a little questionable um, with kind of that Rust-Oleum just to make sure things are nice and sealed before we start to put anything on top of it. Uh, and then we'll start to do some deadening, some sound deadening. So on these panels here on the walls, we'll start to have that start to put in. Um, mainly on like these big broader spots, we'll run those across. Um, we'll just kind of run things wherever for now, but eventually when we cut in a ceiling fan, like we would, you know, if we're going to get like a max air um, vent, we'll just cut through it. We'll cut around it and then there's just more insulation there and there's more sound deadening. Um, but yeah, then we'll kind of finish things off with more of the insulation on these panels. That will take a lot of cutting and measuring and sticking on. But yeah, now this is like the preliminary. Eventually what we'll do is, like I said, use the alcohol and spray things down for a finer clean and then we'll move on to that next bigger step. All right, so that is the end of like the second video. Like I said, just a lot of that cleaning, it looks 10 times better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just soap and water so far too, so. Yep. Pretty nice. Yeah, so we'll just keep working away on that and next steps are gonna be that finer alcohol cleaning, which will kind of happen in between these videos. So that'll be a lot more tedious and it'll be the same kind of thing you guys will have seen over and over again. And then sound deadening. Mm -hmm. and insulation and that alcohol that we keep mentioning is really just for when you have metal that you're going to clean and then eventually like cut into and build on that alcohol is going to take everything off and just have the cleanest surface possible so um that's why we keep mentioning um, that alcohol step eventually because it's important to clean with soap and water but yep. on metal that alcohol is going to really give you the best bang for your buck and we didn't want to go with anything heavy duty and we're going to try to you know make things as safe as possible with like i said we're going to be sleeping in here so we don't want to use a ton of like super heavy duty things with all those fumes and whatnot so keeping it pretty bare minimum but yeah it's already looking great <laughs>